Hello everybody, my name is Leandro Mada. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can change the date and time of your controller when you are using the EcoStructure Machine Expert. So let's go to the presentation. So the idea is to change the date and time for these three devices that we have over here. You can use what I'm going to show you using some machine, okay, if you haven't migrated yet to the EcoStructure Machine Expert. So if you're using so machine, you can use only this part, okay? But if you're using the EcoStructure Machine Expert, you can expand this to use the M262. So this is way to change or read the actual date and time from the controller is to access it to my controller and then go to services. And then in services, you can read the actual time or you can write the new date and time on your controller. Okay. And if you are using the M262, you have also a possibility to use the internal world server in order to change the date and time. Okay. So, for example, if I show you this, if I go here into the M262 and maintenance, we have this possibility in date and time. But if you're using with the M251, okay, in the maintenance, we don't see that option over here. Okay. So that's something that we need to know. Now, if we continue with the presentation, the idea now is to use a library called SysTime RTC. So in here we can read and write the new RTC or read the actual RTC from the controller. So in order to add this library into our project, I'm going to show you. To open this project, we need to go to tools tree. Okay. And uh, in the tools tree, what we need to do is to let me just put this over here. There we go. In the tools tree, what we need to do is to open the library manager. Okay, if you are not able to see the tools tree, probably you need to go to view, navigators, and then you have the other options. And if you are using the classic, you can need to you need to go to devices. Here in devices, in your application, okay, you can see the library manager. But I'm going to continue with the tools tree. So, in the tools tree, double click, and here we just need to go to our library, and here we just need to find the library that I mentioned before, System RTC. We just click over here or double click, and then OK. And now we can see that the System RTC is added in our system. So let's continue with the presentation. Once we added the library, what we need to do is to use four function blocks over here. So the idea for read the actual date and time, what we need to do is to use this, the system RTC in order to read from the controller, okay, the date and time. Then from this function block, we're going to receive the timestamp and UTC, in order to read this information, something that we understand and we want to share to a different uh, device, for example, an HMI to show the actual date and time, we need to use the converter from UTC to date. So we can see in date and time in a much better way than I'm going to show you using a, a structure from the system. So this is for read the date and time and to write is the opposite way. So we need to use a structure, a variable with this structure, system data, system date. So in here we have the new RTC values. So we use the converter from the date to UTC to receive the UTC and then we need to use the system RTC set. Okay, to write into the controller. So if we go to this link, which is the online help the controller, okay, we have this, the get. Okay, so this is where I took the pictures. This is an example how they use it. System RTC, okay, the value goes over here, and then we just need to use what it gets from this input and output, okay, and use. You can use this one or use the name of the variable dot one of the outputs, okay, to retrieve the actual date on time. And in order to set the new one, 
okay it's the opposite way so we just need to we, we can use this or directly the structure and move the new values okay use a converter and then the set for the new rtc so if we go for example to this project okay going to add from the test that i have over here going to copy this information into the this one paste over here folder going to read date and time okay you can see you see so you can see over here that i'm using this two variables okay ones to get and the other one to convert and i'm using this structure okay which is the result of the conversion okay and move the values okay to a different variables okay so if i go over here put it here i connect to the controller okay there we go you should be able to see the new date and time the actual date and time of the controller okay and the opposite way is with the right okay you can use this converter which should be over here the composer okay to make the structure okay for this structure okay this time date and then here you have the converter and then here you can make the set this is the same that you have on the online help and if you don't want to do this for example uh, you can export this okay you see like this project export select the POUs that you want okay over here select the POUs that you want okay and then export it and then use it in another project or what you can do is to create for example a library okay let me just open it this way the other window move it to the other side here you can create your own function block okay so inside you have all this data and you can add additional information using the same steps okay and then you can call your library for example in another project as i'm doing over here this one so basically it's the same but what i have add is the an string variable okay where it has the new information so here's this one variable time i'm reading the actual time and i add this string okay to receive it and probably using it another thing and in here for example if i need to change the date and time for example to this date i just execute the command okay and change the date and time okay and if i want to modify this you always have the option to my controller and then here you can read and then synchronize with the actual time that you have and if you go back to the PU you have done here you can see the actual time of the controller so this is how you can read and write the data and time from the from the controller that you're using. Remember to write the library system RTC and use the converters and then the function block to get and set in order to make it work. If you don't want to make in every project the same, you can export or create your own library. So thank you very much for watching this video and I see you on the next one.